guys, Chad here from CNR Reviews. We are doing another comparison video today with the Springfield XDS, brand spanking new for 2012, versus the Kimber Ultra Carry 2. This is Ryan's tried and true carry gun, 45 ACPs both. And uh, these are both phenomenal options for carrying. Um, let's go ahead and start with the XDS. We're going to go over some features, then we're going to compare the size of, the, of these two, and then we're going to talk about price. Now, the XDS has got some neat features. Uh, first of all, it has a fiber optic sight. They actually give you replacement fiber optics so you can change out the color. Really nice three dot combat sights. Uh, you do have a bullet indicator here on top, as you can see. It's not, it actually doesn't protrude very much compared to like the Ruger's. Very simple takedown lever, slide release. That's it. It's not ambidextrous. You do have an ambidextrous mag release though, here and here and you get two five round magazines. That is nice of Springfield to do because so many of the gun manufacturers nowadays guys are not giving you enough magazines. Um, it does rely on a beaver tail safety and a trigger safety very similar to Glocks if you're familiar with Glock or other XDs. Um, so actually you have to have the beaver tail engaged to fire the trigger. Let's go ahead and show you how that trigger works. So remember we're pressing on the beaver tail you depress that little nipple thing on the trigger. You have a little bit of a take up and a nice crisp clean pull. Now what's nice is that this trigger is broken in. This gun has almost 500 rounds through it and it has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, other than that, the features, you know, you have your nice metal guide rod, dual, dual spring guide rod, um, and the gun is just absolutely phenomenal since we have uh, purchased it and carried it. Let's talk about Ryan's carry weapon, the Kimber Ultra Carry 2. Like I said, this is his tried and true one. He has carried this for well over a year now, and uh, this gun is phenomenal. I have heard a lot of guys have other issues with these guns, and I think what the, the thought process that I've kind of come down to is that uh, some Kimbers are hit and miss, guys, but you have to follow the rules. Kimber says there's a break-in period. And I think what a lot of times happens <clears throat> is that these guys don't even get a chance to go through the breaking period before they get rid of the gun. Or they're limp wristing the gun. You have to be able to control that uh, that recoil from that 45. Now this is a 1911. This is a 1911 variant. It's got a couple little different things than what a standard 1911 has. You have that dual spring guide rod, very similar to the, to the Kimber. You've got uh, thumb safety that's nice because it's only on one side. Sometimes when they stick the thumb, the thumb safety on both sides, the gun just gets too fat. You got the slide release and takedown. Um, you also have a nice beaver tail safety. As you guys can see, it's gigantic. And it's a standard 1911 beaver tail safety instead of that little tiny one that's on the XDS. So what are you getting for this nice fancy 1911? Well, you're getting match grade materials. Uh, you only have the mag release here on the one side. You got a match grade bull barrel there, match grade trigger that's adjustable for poundage. Um, phenomenal gun. Now this gun is wearing a pair of hoe grips that Ryan prefers and it makes the gun really nice. It feels great in your hand. I like this gun too. It, it is a great weapon. Other than that, it comes with it one seven round 1911 magazine. So you can go actually seven plus one for a total of eight rounds. Now magazines for these guys are available. And you can find them just about anywhere. What you can't do is find the XDS mags anywhere. Because the gun is so brand new, good luck finding anything for the weapon. Me and Ryan were doing a search. Uh, Ryan was looking for holsters and stuff like that for the gun. Couldn't find anything on it. So thank you Springfield for including that when you actually give the gun. Because good luck finding anything for at least a few months. Let's do a quick size comparison. Now remember, the sizes are going to be a little bit different. As you guys can see here with them sitting together, the Kimber's slide is actually shorter than the XDS, but the issue with the Kimber is it has a beaver tail. So we have to take that beaver tail into consideration. So let's go ahead and line up the beaver tail. We'll do butt end to butt end, and we're going to see how these guys compare. And there you go. As you guys can see, the Kimber is longer. It is because of that beaver tail. As far as width goes, they're very similar in width. And let's go ahead and let's check out the grips. We're going to go ahead and stick them, uh, slide, make 
put the slide flush and we'll show you the Kimber is taller. And I'm going to show you guys why that is. Partially it's because the Kimber is holding seven rounds. So it gives you, that because the, the grip is taller, it gives you a little bit more room for those rounds. You're going to have a higher capacity. Plus you can actually put three fingers on the gun, including your firing finger and your thumb. The XDS you can only put two. So if you like having all three fingers on the gun, and you can't wait for Pierce Grips to bring out an extension for the XDS, or you can't wait for Springfield to do it, uh, then the Kimber might be the way to go. As you guys can see, I can fit all three on there comfortably. And you can see on the XDS, I can only fit two. I could probably squeeze my third one on there, but if you got really tiny hands, you can get three if you need to. Other than that, guys, that's just a real quick size comparison. One thing I did not touch on, which I, I should have t touched on real quick, is the sights on the Kimber. Now, they're just basic black sights. And uh, they are combat sights still. And they are phenomenal, guys. When I first saw Ryan buy this gun, I looked at the sights, I was like, those are stupid and plain, and they're going to suck. These sights are extremely nice. Even in a uh, dusk type of, of setting, you can still see the black silhouette of the sight, just as well as you can see the normal sights on a normal gun, and they're fantastic. Uh, I know you can get these guns with all kinds of different stuff, different stippling on the slides. Um... Upgraded materials, stainless versions, different uh, uh, night sights, whatever. There's all kinds of options for the Kimbers. So let's talk about price because the Kimber price is going to vary. Now, Springfield Armory XDS cost me and Ryan $502 uh, before tax. And I think that was a pretty fair price. I really doubt you're going to find it for much cheaper. And if you do, pick it up. It's an absolute steal. Well, the majority of the time, though, you're going to end up finding these guys for probably around 550 bucks or more, depending if you're going to the big box stores. Now, the Kimber Ultra Carry, I have seen vary in price so much, and I know in the last year it has increased in price. I remember Ryan spending in the 600s for this gun. I want to say around 680, 660 to 680. Lately, we can't find these guys for less than 750 or more. You go to Cabela's, you're going to spend close to 900 just for the plain Jane version, 850 to 900. You throw night sights on there, it bumps up 100. You want a stainless look, it bumps up 100 or 200. <clears throat> All of a sudden, you're looking at a thousand dollar gun. So you want to make sure you shop around and you look at mom and pop shops before you go to the big box stores, or look on their websites. Like a lot of times, Cabela's actually shows these guns and they'll give you the the retail price. You can find them for cheaper, so make sure you shop around for them. Either way you go, it's all going to depend on what you're used to. If you're used to carrying a full-size 1911, such as like this, and you like how that, that gun functions, you like the features of it, you want something that's just small and you can carry, check out the Kimber Ultra Carry 2. If you still like some of the functions, maybe you're looking for something even lighter than the Ultra Carry, go with the XDS. You still got the beaver tail safety to rely on, and it does not let you engage that trigger until it's depressed. So it actually does make it really nice, guys. It, it is a, a viable safety. You have to get used to not having that thumb safety there, but I don't think it's that hard. Even Ryan was commenting today, it was actually kind of nice. We were practicing our defensive shooting, not having to worry about flicking the thumb safety. It actually saved time and extra seconds, which could be important in a firefight. If you guys have any questions regarding either one of these guys, uh, the, the Springfield XDS or the Kimber Ultra Carry 2, check out our videos. We have comprehensive videos of both. We'll be having a review coming within the next week. We will also, as I promised, be doing a weight video um, for the XDS. We'll probably be also be doing it for the CW45 and the M&P Shield. And that way you guys can see how they compare to all of these other guns and get a good idea of whether or not you want one or not. Uh, other than that, this is Chad from CNR Reviews. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good day.